Hey guys, this is Andy McCann with CrossFit Garage, where routine is your enemy, intensity is king, and we are going to talk about the estimated one rep max inside of Wattify. So we use Wattify, pretty cool tool, since, um, well, I guess it's probably over seven years now, but anyway, inside of Wattify, they give you these cool little uh, graphics, which will show you your history on what you've lifted. So this is me in our summer strength program for kids. This is my son. So right here, actually go back up here. If you notice right here, it just has a one rep max. So 13 years into it, um, I go up slowly now. But um, here's my son doing summer strength. And you see he's got an estimated one rep max of 197. And how do they come up with that? So we do a lot of, in summer strength, there's a lot of three by fives, one by fives, one by threes. And we do test out, but Wattify is obviously using some sort of calculation to come up with their one rep max. Knowing what that is, could we actually uh, be smarter about our one rep max? If you look right here, click the question mark. It says it uses the Brzezinski, I guess, I don't know how to say that, formula. What is that, and how do we use that to our advantage? Okay, so if you so tomorrow we've got snatch and it's a one by three you could use this methodology if you don't have a really good set number so this works great for new people that um, don't have a well-established one rep max so like I said 13 years into it I pretty much know that 346 is my max I go unbelted no shoes I don't like to use other stuff to assist me so um, could it be better yeah I could probably do different stuff but um, I'm into the general fitness, not just simple, straight-up lifting. Um, we've seen some awesome increase with folks like Donovan, who went um, all-in Olympic lifting in Coach Ashe's program. Um, and, of course, your numbers can go up big time if you focus solely on that. Or maybe not big time. It depends. For me, it would be small time. Um, anyway, so Evan here, 197. So what could he do differently? Or you guys, when you come in on Tuesday – with a snatch, what could you do? So the, the big part of the workout is gonna be snatch. If you get done early and you don't wanna work on any more form or you wanna sweat, then we have something you can do right there. But this is the key and it should take most of the time in the class. So going back to those formulas, what can we do? So there are a lot of formulas to find your one rep um, max and or estimated one rep max. So there's this um, Eple, the one that Wattify uses, McLaughlin, Lombardi, Matthew, O'Connor. Of course, uh, we all know, well, you should know Windler, somebody we are certainly familiar with. So they've got all these formulas and doing some basic algebra. I mean, this is pretty cake math. I love math. So if we, if we wadded with math, I would be in heaven as well. So anyway, doing a little basic math here. Uh, oops, wrong page. We can take his equation and unbundle it. And you can put in your lifts or your estimated one rep max and see what you should do in terms of a rep scheme or your break evens, right, according to their formulas. So if I take Evans, let's see, where does he go? Right here. And I say, all right, on his back squat, he did his heaviest, it was a, uh, or his estimated as 197. So he, I don't think he, I think he missed the one rep max day. Yep. All right, so let's take mine. If I wanted to uh, figure out, I don't know, what kind of percentages I want to lift at, um, there's two ways to do it. One is to enter a number. So this is my one rep max, and then see what I need to do in his equation to bump it up. So remember, 346. Let's go type that in. So put over here, 346. So the rep scheme, if I wanted to lift 10, I'd have to do 259. If I wanted to do 3, I'd need to lift 3. 26 three times in order for my estimated one rep max to go up. What it's saying is I'm stronger than that now if I could really do this. I don't think I could do 326 three times, um, but maybe. So anyway, uh, there's another way you could do this too. You could undo the math and switch it around. Instead of saying, what's my breakpoint weight? You could say, hey, my, my max is 346, and I want to lift 80% which is this amount, how many reps do I need to do? So I could say I want to lift, I don't know, 85%. So, oops, I didn't put in a point, 85%. So if I want to go with 85%, that's 294, I'd need to lift that six times. So this, not saying that science makes your legs lift more, 
Um, what it is saying is uh, there is known mathematical calculations that they use to come up with some of these numbers to say, hey, we agree upon this stuff, and these are the lifts you should do to go up. Now, I do want to point out that um, they don't agree upon this stuff. So if you look, uh, Wattify says it's got to be um, 93.8 pounds 10 times, but Epilay says, well, actually, it says the exact same thing, so the formula is really close. Uh, McLaughlin says it's 93.2. Uh, then there's Matthew, which you see is 95.5. And Wendler, which is 93.8. So it agrees with um, this one. So today, in summer strength, I would ask the kids that, let's see, I think I even put it in here, is that the rep scheme is, yep, so we're doing one by seven, and the note is to do it at 85% if possible. So if you go back over here, uh, where's my Excel spreadsheet? And you could see I did a, some other calculations too. So um, let's see, seven reps. Uh, at, should break point was 85%. Uh, it's weird, it came up with different percents, but so it's right in here, so it's 85%, I'd have to come to one of my other formulas. Uh, there we go. So seven reps at 85% gives you a new one rep max. So a lot of the kids don't know where they really should be because we're working on a lot of, a lot of technique, and technique and mechanics can make you stronger. It doesn't mean your muscles are physically bigger and bulkier and ready to go to, you know, get on the beach and show it all off. It means that you're using your form correctly. It's just like writing. If you have bad penmanship or holding the pen incorrectly, then your penmanship or the, the look of your writing, while it's still the letter A, it looks like, well, like what my writing looked like versus what, say, my wife's writing looks like. So having better mechanics will make you stronger simply because you're using your body better. And that's a big part of what we teach in CrossFit. So in the next two days, summer strength today and Regular members on uh, Tuesday will be working on these lifts. If you don't know what you should do, try doing um, a one by seven at 85% or go as high as you can, pick 85% and lift. And if you can get over seven reps, let's see, where was my 85%? So every time you go over seven reps, it's increasing what it thinks your theoretical maximum should be. So this would be good because if you said, hey, it's 165 and you did 11 reps, it says, it's, hey, it's now 194. So you would come back in here the next time we do this and say, all right, well, 194 is my number. So it's going to try to uh, get you to lift uh, 164 seven times. And if you can bust through that, you'll find a number that makes more sense to you that you can use in the long run. So anyway, it's pretty cool how, uh, uh, well, for me anyway, it's pretty cool how Science and math and just the physical world, your body all kind of comes together with some cool science and experimentation. And it is experimentation. If you, like I said, these guys have um, multiple ways to calculate this stuff. In a nutshell, though, they all come out to be about the same sort of weights. Uh, there wasn't a huge discrepancy except with um, McLaughlin. No, that wasn't it. What was the, uh, uh, even then it's only two pounds. Not even that. It's like, 1.357, uh, 1 1.7, 1.7 pounds different. So not tremendous, but of course, if you're going for 10 reps, it does kind of suck. That could be your clips on the side, right? All right, y'all take care. I hope you find this helpful, and I will find more ways to increase your efficiency and effectiveness while working out here at the garage. Take care.